curse it all. If only I'd notice sooner. Well, we waste no time at having more bullshit to deal with. But hey, we can have an encounter with, um, with Ifri finally. Start closing up these loose ends. How about this one? The hole looks dirty, and I don't see anyone aboard. You're surprisingly into this. Maybe you've got a criminal streak in you after all. What? No, I... What do you think, Aizen? She'll do. Let's take her. I just, I'm just eager to get this done. It's not that I'm a criminal. Let's go. Aizen, everything all right? We're almost at Lionel Island, all thanks to this ship. She's got a good compass. Yeah. Only my inner compass held us steady. From the first moment I laid eyes upon that demon, I think I knew it was Eifried. But some part of me refused to accept it. That's because you're Eifried's friend, don't you think? After all, he taught you that the Reaper's curse was part of you, part of your creed. We were lost at sea once. Twenty straight days we floated together, close to death. And all he says is, you sure know how to liven up an adventure. He sounds like an incredible person. You did the same thing for Velvet, you know. Only because you taught me how, Aizen. Your wheel is yours to hold, right? That's right. That's what it is to live by ones. Look, it's Lionel Island. Not good. The Von Eltia's already there. We're too late. Eleanor! What's going on? What are Oh, great, it's you. A horned demon attacked us out of nowhere. They're breathing. Barely. Zavid rushed here to save us. Had he not come when he did, we'd all be dead. This is all because I hesitated. Where'd they go? Zavid lured the beast away towards the interior. Let's go. Well, we got shit to do. Well, the good news is that we can activate our uh, our hoverboard once we get over here. And then get to taking on Eifried and closing a book on uh, a story point we've been waiting to do for a long time. So where is it? Where... Oh, it's a right stick. There we go. Okay, I know where they want me to be. Alright. Excuse me, pardon me. Hey, turtles. How you doing? Look at all these orbs. Neat. Were we here really recently? Like, wasn't this the area that had all the magic seals on it? I, rem I recognize it just from enemies alone and that very large shortcut. Like, oh yeah, it's this bullshit. Let me double check, do I get to use the shortcut to get to make this faster? I, d I do, actually. And is the shortcut in this zone? Yeah, it's the leftmost thing. Cool. Shout out to the octopus. Now, if that solid wall that we broke down to open Is up that the shortcuts really closed again, I'm gonna be mad. Eisen would know better than anyone, so I'd take it as a fact. But I thought when people have a strong will like you and Kudogane, they don't lose themselves upon becoming a demon. From how Eisen talks about him, I'd say his strength of will should be considerable. Even if you don't lose yourself, a demon is a demon. When you change, you're no longer human. I don't remember how I felt as a human. But I bet the human me would have thought I'm a real monster. <sighs> but would the old part of Eifried allow him to be so obedient to the Abbey? No. He didn't seem to be following Melchior of his own free will. I imagine Melchior's illusory arts are at play. Like what we saw at Loringen in a ball? 
Is that enough to control a demon? They would seem so. But more importantly, someone with a psyche resilient enough to impress Aizen should be extraordinarily hard to turn into a demon. So Melchior must be using a particularly nasty illusion, eh? Eifried, Aizen, please be okay. We have to hurry! Zavid's all alone! Well, he's not exactly an ally. He's got his own creed. Remember the Whitehorn Dragon? He might try to protect Eifried. So Aizen might too, right? This is Eifried we're talking about, so... He's a demon now. He's not Aizen's old buddy anymore. <sighs> Even if we can't bring him back to being human, there has to be something we can do to make him... himself again. If he's a demon, he'll never be himself again. He attacked Benwick and the rest of his crew. The old Eifried's gone. So... what does Aizen plan to do? I don't know. That's up to him. Worst case, we might have to fight him too. It's best you prepare yourself for that possibility. But... Yeah, it's best to prepare for a lot of fights. I mean, we are in the marsh. This is the marsh that we faced off against uh, Teresa and Oscar. I remember that? That fucking went bad. I mean, that was my barometer for shit going south. And then we learned that it can go more south when all the events that happened to Velvet happened in which she was almost broken. That shit. Like, I've never seen someone so... In, in one of these types of games. And in, like, an RPG, just... Have the hits keep coming and coming and trying to break someone that badly before. Had moments where it's like, oh, a significant other dies. But this... This was levels beyond it, you know, halfway into the sequence, so... Alright. Gotta get ready for a fight. Hopefully no one died. We can only hope, right? This game has a boner for murder, though, so who knows. Zavid! You alright? Stop! I know these fists. This is Eifried. Why didn't you fight back? Eifried... She pulled me back from the brink. <laughs> I owe him. This time, it's my turn to bring him back. A demon can never be human again. <laughs> so what? That's supposed to make me change my creed? What do you think, I freed? <laughs> <laughs> kids now <sighs> Benwick and your crew risked their lives by your side Zavid's an idiot but he stands by his beliefs I won't let anyone trample their creeds even you Everything I freed. And now, it's time to pay it back! Are you all right with this, Aizen? I am. Let's settle this. Easier said than done. He's a sturdy birdie. And that's why I've got to do this! Oh man. Oh no, my poor combo. I spend years perfecting it. Uh oh. Oh shit. Okay, I'm still alive. Barely. 
Okay, can you just get a- can we just do this? I kept trying to initiate a Mystic Art level 2. N nah, he, he, he breaks combos way too fast for me to link a bunch of arts together. I'll do the next best thing and just get damage in. Alright, we stagger the hell out of him. Ugh. Alright, keep getting closer. We might be able to miss the guard again. If we play our cards right. Not gonna lie, I really like his, uh, his JoJo punch maneuvers. Oh crap, again? Oh, Aizen. Ah, Aizen. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that totally fucking wrecked him. <laughs> Wait, there's a soul over there. Alright, finish it right. It's the only way I could finish that one. End of the road. Oh yeah, I forgot this it was his whole goal. Taking hostages now. I'm sorry. Just forget about me. I'm I'm prepared for whatever happens. All right. You've grown. You're a man now. Family, friends, Everything I ever tried to hold on to, all of it trickled away, fell from my grasp. But a certain idiot once told me, if you can't hold something in your hand, then make a fist and take it by force. This fist will take everything back. Just like you told me to! Uh. Ah! Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? I freed! Demon changed back into a human? Forget it. It's too late. I'm sorry. If I only knew how to use my power. Stop crying. Didn't you say you were prepared for anything? And you were searching for Ifrid for so long. <sighs> You're still as soft as you ever were. Boy, I'll let you in on little secrets. Your power, 
comes from being part of he know me not which means if you can seal off his domain you actually got a chance of putting up a good fight seal off his domain the four elemental Empyreans sleeping in the earth pulses if you can rouse them from their slumber hurry while Artorius and Inominat are occupied, they're getting ready for some ceremony of suppression. It's now or never, kid. Thank you, Eifried. <laughs> I'm just sad I can't go with you. This sounds like a goddamn blast. I won't apologize. You shouldn't. I'm grateful. You always kept things from getting dull. If we ever meet again, let's raise some hell. Eisen. Yeah, we will. See you, Eifried. I owe you one, Zavid. We had a chance to bring him back. But you went and killed him. Next time I see you, we'll settle the score. Between me and your creed. See you around, Zavid. So, we need to wake the four elemental Empyreans? But, how do we do it? Dunno, maybe you tickle their divine footsies with a feather until they... You're back! Ah! And you're looking better. Somehow. But what happened to that demon? We killed him. Benwick. He... Let me tell him. The rest of you, find Grimoire, and ask her about the four Empyreans. Aizen. Are you sure? Do it. He gave us this chance. We can't waste it. Okay. Ah, gold's over here. Do we still have expeditions or are those still turned off? They are. Aw. Resurrect the elemental Empyreans. True. If we do that, we might be able to suppress Inominat's domain. It may even liberate the minds of the Malachim that Inominat has under his control. I'm sure some will no longer obey their exorcists. Good. We'll take a big bite out of their forces. More importantly, Inominat will lose the ability to enhance the resonance of his exorcists. Most exorcists will no longer even be able to perceive Malachim at all, just like before. Of course, anyone as innately gifted as me is another story. Will I... become unable to see Lafayette? We won't know until we try. Eleanor... Then let's give it a shot. I'll... accept whatever happens. But these elemental Empyreans... they're gods, right? You sure it's okay to disturb their beauty sleep? They control the four elements. Waking them is likely to upset the balance of the world quite a bit. I'll take that as a no, then. We don't even know how to revive them. At worst... If it's anything like the opening, then we need to offer a sacrifice at the Earth Pulse on a Scarlet Night. We have to kill someone? The act of killing is not essential to the ceremony. All that's needed is a soul free of malevolence. Hmm. If that's true, then doesn't Velvet already have a whole belly full of them? The exorcists I devoured. It's perfect! You're Aetherian, you're capable of releasing the power you absorb! The souls of the high-ranking exorcists you ate should do nicely. Use Oscar and Teresa's souls to resurrect the Empyreans? It's worth a try, at least. When's the next Scarlet Night? Three years after the advent. In other words, soon. Hmm. Do we have enough time? 
The four Empyreans are asleep in different places, right? Correct. Four Earth Pulses for four Empyreans. But if you use a life pool, you may be able to awaken all four at the same time. A life pool? Earth Pulses normally flow horizontally, but in exceptionally rare cases, they can flow vertically. This causes energy to collect at the Earth Pulse's base, forming a life pool. Though sometimes the energy flows the other way, upward, into what's called a life spring. Oh! So if we make use of one of these life pools, a single sacrifice could reach all four Empyreans. Where are they? There's a life pool in the northern reaches of Midgand. But I heard a large temple was built over it recently. That's the Empyrean throne! We can't go there, it's Inominat's home base! Ah, uh, most unfortunate. Couldn't we use a life spring? It all connects to the same place, right? We'll have to go against its flow, but... We'll force the soul right down its throat. Where's the nearest life spring? Our best bet would be Mount Killeraus. Aizen? I'm fine. What's done is done. Killeraus? That's the volcano on the northernmost tip of Northgand, but it's a hellscape of ice and lava! Naturally. Killeraus is the most powerful life spring there is. So, in short, we shove the souls of the exorcists into the molten core of that volcano. That should awaken the four elemental Empyreans. Together, they will seal off Inominat's domain. It's just a theory, but... It's one I'll put my money on. Me too. Then we're off to Northgand. Mount Killeraus is north of Helleviz. The ship's ready to sail. Where are you headed? We don't have a problem. If you've got a grudge, we can settle it here and now. Huh? Why would we have a grudge against you guys? The first mate fought like the first mate. The captain died like the captain, right? I suppose. The no swabby here can blame you for what happened. We're Eifried's pirates, and don't forget it. We're not so pathetic that we need pity from some lord of calamity. All right. The ship's in your hands. Aye, aye. You can count on us. That's a very well-rounded whole thing. I I respect a motherfucker for that. The Von Eltia looks the same as ever. But it feels utterly different, doesn't it? Yeah. Even Benwick looked like he'd been crying. I can imagine. But if we let ourselves despair now, we'd be a disgrace to Eifried's creed. We have to swallow our anger and grief and sail on. Right. Following a creed isn't always pleasant. We must do what we must. I won't allow the Abbey to do things like this. Destroying someone like that. Turning them into a puppet. It's unconscionable. Still, a heart can never be fully bridled. It can be shattered, but never erased entirely. Eifried proved that. Right. His body is gone, but he lives on through his crew. Magilu is right. What lives in one's heart can never be erased. Yeah. The heart is eternal. Okay. Onwards to hell of these. Hey, look, it's Kamalana. Let's hope she doesn't speak in this cutscene. I see. Or a Kalkum or not, Stormquell snapped like a twig. I'm afraid so. It was Inominat who did it. But I think Shigure could have done the same. So hardness alone isn't enough. Forgive me. I thought I had found clarity, but it was only foolish pride. You should be proud. You are, without a doubt, the greatest swordsmith in the world. I'm looking forward to your next blade. Even now, you would still place your trust in me? Of course. Is there any other swordsmith who could craft a blade out of Orichalcum? 
You're a master of your art. A visionary who spent centuries working to forge a blade of legend. I'm honored to know you. I don't know what to say. Unless, of course, you've given up on making a sword to surpass Storm Howl. <laughs> Does this look like the face of a man who's given up? Not in the least. <laughs> We're making good time. The only problem is that ceremony that Arturius was going on about. We don't know how long it'll take. Eifried said they called it the Ceremony of Suppression. Most likely, it's how Inominat plans to release his power. Most likely. He hasn't absorbed Lafayette in your despair. So we know me not should still be incomplete, but if his powers fully awaken. Humanity will be robbed of their free will. I can hear them celebrating now. The uglinesses of the human soul are suppressed. And the world is free of malevolence. Hurrah, hurrah. Robbing humanity of its will. They'll be like I once was. Oh, something's coming! Oh no! Anime's coming! No, seriously, what... What, what is it? Oh. Oh good, it already happened. Hey, uh... Please, guys, let's not fight! 